I'm going to teach you how to prep to get the perfect spray tan. Hi, my name is Cassie. I'm the owner of The Glow Doctor, which is a luxury spray tanning salon in Brookfield, Wisconsin. One quick note before we get started. If you're new to spray tanning, you might not know that spray tans are a very unique beauty service in that results very largely depend on the client's prep and post tan care. The artist can do everything in their power to give you the most perfect spray possible, but if you don't follow directions for before and after, your results are not gonna be that great. So it's very important to follow these directions. Okay, let's start from the beginning. A few weeks before your spray tan, you need to make sure to not get a sunburn. Spray tans and sunburns do not mix. Any sunburn that you've received in the last month prior to your appointment, even if it wasn't a peeling sunburn, can make your tan turn out splotchy and uneven because there's still some burn under your skin even though you might not see it. So always wear sunscreen in the weeks leading up to your tan. Also, make sure that you schedule any other beauty appointments to occur before your spray tan appointment. Brows, lashes, nails, hair appointments should all be done beforehand. Spray is last. We promise your spray tan will not mess up the results from any of these other beauty appointments. Okay, this brings us to a week before your spray appointment. Discontinue any use of really strong exfoliants such as retinol. Things that are that strong can continue to strip the skin on your face and your neck a few days after you stop using it, which can cause the tan on your face to look uneven or fade very, very, very quickly. You'll also want to discontinue use of any Dove products a few days before you get your spray tan. Dove products are so bad for a tan um, that they can even mess it up before you get the spray tan because of the film that they leave on your skin that can interfere with the adherence of the spray tan solution, causing an uneven and quick fading tan. Okay, this brings us to the day before your appointment. This is when you're gonna want to do your prep shower. Now, if your schedule doesn't allow and you have to do this prep shower the day of your appointment, that's okay. Just make sure it's at least four hours before your appointment starts so that your skin has time to settle and take in the spray tan solution. The night before your appointment is definitely preferred. Okay, and then in this prep shower, you should first shave anything that you would like to be shaved. Second step in the prep shower, make sure this step is after you shave. Now you need to exfoliate. This is the most important part of prepping for a spray tan. Loofahs, washcloths, and sugar scrubs will not cut it for exfoliating your skin for a spray tan. You need to use an exfoliating mitt. We do carry an extra rough strength exfoliating mitt that you can either purchase online or pick up at our salon. You need to take this mitt in your prep shower, put your hand in it here, and then scrub your entire body in circular motions head to toe. Do not miss an inch. You should literally see the top layer of your skin coming off on the mitt. It's gross, but it is satisfying and it will make your tan turn out very even. You don't need to use any other body wash with it, just water is totally fine. Also note that if you decide to use a loofah or a sugar scrub as your prep exfoliation method, your tan's gonna fade a lot faster and it's gonna turn out pretty uneven as well. Reason for that is because these products are not strong enough to remove the entire top layer of your skin. So your skin cells are gonna slough off unevenly, which is gonna cause the tan to fade unevenly. Also, sugar scrubs carry a lot of oils in them. They're gonna interfere with the barrier of your skin and result in a lack of penetration from the solution to the skin. Now for your appointment, you'll want to arrive with nothing on your skin. No makeup, no perfume, no moisturizer, not even deodorant. Think about it this way, we're basically painting you. So just like an artist needs a blank canvas to paint on, we need blank skin for us to spray you and for the solution to properly adhere to your skin. Now there's one caveat to this. A lot of people find it hard to not put moisturizer on their face after they shower. If you're showering more than four hours beforehand and you wanna just put a little bit of moisturizer on your face, that's okay, you can do that. Now for your appointment, you want to look like Adam Sandler. Make sure that you wear loose, dark clothing, kind of like this, and sandals or slippers for shoes. If you wear things like jeans, leggings, tight bras, or tennis shoes, and you put those back on right after you get your spray tan, it's gonna cause it to develop unevenly because clothes that tight and abrasive are gonna move the tan around a little bit, which we don't want. Now, we also understand that a lot of our night appointment people are gonna be coming straight from work. So you're gonna have to be in your work clothes, you're gonna have to have deodorant on and maybe a little bit of makeup on, that's okay. Just make sure you bring loose dark clothes to change into afterwards, and also make sure that you ask us for a wipe to take your makeup makeup off and take your deodorant off as well. If you have questions about any of these instructions, be sure to reach out to us via any of the platforms provided on your confirmation email and text 
or through the website. We promise if you follow these instructions to a T, you will get an absolutely beautiful, even long lasting colored tan. That's all for now. We can't wait to see you.